The highest rate of inflation in America? Nowhere is it worse statistically than in the Valley of the Sun. According to the Labor Department data, the Phoenix area is now ground zero for inflation. Prices rose by nearly 11 percent in February from a year ago, and for some, that's crippling. CBC's Valerie Castro live in Phoenix with how the people are dealing with the squeeze. Hi, Val. Hi, Chef. Well, what's not to love about Phoenix? The weather is warm, and at one point in time, this was an affordable place to buy a home. Small businesses flourished just like this one. This is Streets of New York Pizza. They've been around since 1976, but this year the owner says she's had to close down four of her locations and raise prices because of inflation, and it's the same story all over town. Filling up a gas tank hits hard for Jeff Dermares. Last year at this time, a full tank of gas, about 45 bucks for a full tank, and that's a half a tank now. The Phoenix-based Uber driver spends hours on the road every day. At the grocery store, his wallet takes a hit, too. Yeah, the meat's gotten more expensive, dairy has as well. Here in the desert west, the cost of daily life has risen more than anywhere else in the country. Inflation, quite simply, is too much money chasing too few goods. ASU economics professor Dennis Hoffman says Phoenix is a victim of its own success, weathering the pandemic while adding tens of thousands of new residents. We never shut manufacturing down. We never shut some vital facilities down. But we got the same amount of stimulus per capita as everybody else did. We had a lot of cash and uh, wages went up because we demanded products. Carl's Quality Bakery, a 28-year family business, is staying open by charging more. So last year for a standard buttercream 8-inch cake, we were charging $35. We are now charging $46, so it's gone up almost 25%. Baker Christine Warner says ingredients like eggs and butter, pounders, sticks, and then we get uh, 55 pounds, have all gone up in price. 260 280 was normal for butter 250 was really a good price now they were charging 450 per pound of butter her vendor costs up at least 20 percent her labor jumped 40 percent in the last three years after a statewide wage increase to maintain quality while paying the bills the cost gets baked into her prices you know we're just doing what we can to stay afloat we're not getting rich off of it. The relief from the financial heat, nowhere in sight. Everybody moving here, it's just kind of screwing us originals here, and we're having a hard time finding housing, providing gas, food. And speaking of more people moving here, Maricopa County was the fastest growing county in the country last year. 58,000 more people moved here. And to give you another example of things costing more, this slice of pizza used to go for somewhere in the $3 range. Now the owner says she's having to charge $4.50 a slice because the ingredients, the labor, uh, running the restaurant, everything that goes into making this pizza is costing her more. Chef.